some applications of Lagrange's mean value theorem. So the first statement or here is a statement. If suppose that suppose that the function function f is continuous on the closed bounded interval closed and bounded interval bounded interval for a b and uh, and a p is f is differentiable shape on open interval a b with f dash x is equal to 0 for every x in, uh, in the open interval a b then then f of x is then f is constant function function on a b so first of all what is mean by uh, constant function so so constant function means what if f of x is equal to say f of x is equal to k then it is a constant function for example f of x is equal to 2 is a constant function why because here for f of 1 is 2 f of uh, 3 is 2 f of 4 is 2 so for any value of x we get output is same then it is called a constant function so to prove this theorem what is given here given f is continuous continuous on closed bounded interval a b and f is differentiable differentiable on open interval open interval a b okay and uh, open interval I want to prove here that is our claim is there is our claim here then here is constant function constant function on close interval a b so now to prove this let x belongs to a b be any point with with x is greater than a now obviously now since given now since f is continuous on a b implies this implies f is continuous on close bound uh, close bounded interval x if it is a continuous on a b then obviously it is continuous on x and since f is differentiable on a b and x is point in the interval a b implies f is also differentiable f is differentiable on open interval x so therefore by using by using Lagrange's mean value theorem LMVT Lagrange's mean there exists a C belongs to x such that such that f dash f dash c is equal to f of x minus f of a divided by x minus a so if you take cross multiplication here then we get f of x minus f of a is equal to x minus a into f dash c but what is given here one more thing is given uh, sorry here and f dash x is what zero for every x belongs to a b so f dash c is also what Say this implies now since f dash c is equal to 0 implies f of x minus f of a is equal to 0 if you substitute this value here then we get f of x minus f of a is equal to 0 and this implies f of x is equal to f of a okay now since what is x here x is any arbitrary point x is what 
any arbitrary point in the open interval AB. So for every x belongs to for every x belongs to AB, we get f of x is equal to f of a. What is f of a? f of a is constant. So f of x is also f of x is equal to f of a implies implies f is constant function. Constant function. f of x is equal to a is what constant. So f of x is equal to what? f of a is also constant function. Next theorem number two statement. Theorem two here. I am going to write a first statement. Statement. If f is continuous function. Function on closed bounded interval on AB and F is derivable derivable on open interval AB with F dash X is greater than zero for every X belongs to AB then F is strictly increasing function strictly increasing function now what is meant by strictly increasing function so first function so, so we can say that a function is a strictly increasing for example if we consider here an example say f of x is equal to x square then it is a increasing function why it is increasing function if x1 is less than or equal to x2 x1 is less than uh, x2 sorry only less than if x1 is less than x2 implies f of x1 is also less than f of x2 then function is strictly increasing so for example in uh, in this for this function 1 is less than 2 then f of 1 is also less than f of 2 Why, what is f of 1 f of 1 is 1 and f of 2 is what 4 so this function is what it is strictly increasing function it is what strictly increasing function so given here given uh, f is continuous on closed bounded interval a b and f is differentiable differentiable on on open interval a b with f dash x is greater than zero so this is given part and our claim claim is to prove that f is strictly increasing function claim is what f is strictly increasing function increasing function so now to prove this to prove this now consider let uh, a less than x1 less than x2 less than b be any point okay a less than x1 less than equal to x2 less than b be any point less than or equal or you can consider here less than or equal to okay now since f is continuous on a b f is continuous on a b implies f is also continuous on x1 uh, in the closed interval x1 and x2 so this implies f is continuous on closed bounded interval x1 x2 similarly now since f is differentiable on open interval a b and x1 and x2 lie between a o interval a b so this implies f is differentiable differentiable on open interval x1 x2 and therefore this implies by Lagrange's mean value theorem by mean value theorem there exist and C belongs to x1 x2 such that such that f dash C is equal to f of x2 minus f of x1 divided by x2 minus x1 
now now since given given f dash x is greater than 0 for every x uh, or every x belongs to a b so this implies f dash x is also greater than 0 for every x belongs to x1 x2 okay so this implies this implies f dash c is also greater than 0 now but f dash c is greater than 0 so from this equation f dash c is greater than 0 so this equation implies f of x2 minus f of x1 divided by x2 minus x1 is greater than 0 now since you can observe here what is x1 is less than x2 now since since x1 is less than x2 implies x2 minus x1 is greater than 0 so if you multiply x2 minus x1 on both sides we get f of x2 minus f of x1 since it is a positive number there is no need to change a uh, sign so it is x2 minus x1 greater than 0 times x2 minus x1 so what happened here this x2 minus x1 x2 minus x1 is great cancel here and this implies f of x2 minus f of x1 is greater than 0 and this implies f of x2 is greater than f of x1 okay but what is given so x2 is what x2 is greater than x1 implies f of x2 is greater than f of x1 so therefore now since x2 greater than x1 implies f of x2 greater than f of x1 and therefore f is strictly increasing function strictly increasing function function and third uh, theorem theorem number three i am writing statement here statement suppose was statement now if f is continuous function on closed bounded interval a b and f is differentiable shable on on open interval a b then uh, with with f dash x is less than 0 for every x in the open interval a b then f is strictly decreasing function strictly decreasing function decreasing function so now given the given part is given f is continuous on closed bounded interval a b and differentiable on open interval a b with f dash x is less than 0 for every x belongs to a b and our claim is claim is f is strictly decreasing strictly decreasing function so what is meant by decreasing function so for example if we consider here uh, if x1 less than x2 but f of x1 greater than f of x2 then it is what strictly decreasing function for example if we consider f of x is equal to minus x square now here uh, 1 is less than 2 but f of 1 is greater than f of 2 so what is f of 1 f of 1 is minus 1 and f of 2 is what minus 4 so this is what a strictly decreasing function minus x square is what strictly decreasing function so proof here again consider the same logic here let let a less than or equal to x1 less than x2 less than or equal to b be any point now this now since f is continuous on a b f is continuous on a b implies f is continuous on x1 x2 and since f is differentiable on a b implies f is differentiable on 
open interval a b uh, a b this implies by lmvt lagrange's mean value theorem there exists a c belongs to x1 x2 such that such that f dash c is equal to f of x2 minus f of x1 divided by x2 minus x1 again now since f dash x is less than 0 or every x belongs to a b this implies and c belongs to a b implies f dash c is also what less than 0 so if you substitute this value here we get f of x2 minus f of x1 divided by x2 minus x1 is less than 0 so now again again now since x2 greater than x1 this implies x2 minus x1 is greater than 0 so if you multiply x2 minus x1 here since it is a positive number number we get f of x2 minus f of x1 is less than 0 if you multiply x2 minus x1 on both sides we get f of x2 since it is a positive number so this sign remains same this sign remains what same so this implies f of x2 less than f of x1 but what is x2 x2 is greater than x1 but f of x2 is what less than f of x1 so here now since x2 is greater than x1 but f of x2 is less than f of x1 and therefore f is strictly decreasing function strictly decreasing function, function.